Hello, this is Ashraf from Mr. Ashraf Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to share you on how to develop a 2D platformer games by using GDevelop. Okay, all right, let's get started. First, we're going to have the game assets. Okay. What I have now, I have uh, sprites, okay. I have sprites of idols, jump, walk, and fall, and also have the tie set, okay. Right. Next, what you have to do is set your game project, okay. Create new project. You can go here, create new project, okay. Scroll down, go to empty game. But before that, you must uh, choose which folder that you want to save. Okay, let's go to new folder and then let's say going to game set a turn. Okay, create. Uh, uncle, uncle, a game. All right. Select folder. Okay. Now, my game will be saved in my folder. Right. No game. Okay. Now, before that, you have to uh do some modifications on your game properties. Okay. You can rename the game to whatever name that you like whatever name that you like take uncle take okay this is my game's name version number is up to you i just leave it to 1.0.0 game resolutions this one you have to change okay because this one is quite small the default is quite small so i'm going to use the hd size 1 9 20 times 1080 all right change the width okay this is the rest okay yep and then press apply okay and then create new scenes click add to to add scene okay then there we go all right so this is your scene okay you have to scroll down Okay, to see your view. Okay, all right. Now let's add um your characters into the scene. To do that, it's easy. Just go here. Add new object. We are going to add player, and this player we will add uh four actions to the player. Okay. Add new object and then to add any uh, animated uh, assets okay in this case is our character so we go for sprite okay click sprite and name this object as player okay and then I'm going to add animations here okay animation one I call it as idle okay all right Make sure D. Make sure the spelling is. It's up to you. What either you want to use capital S I, but I just want to use non capital S I. Add. Okay, and then where is my? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to add idol. This one. This one. Okay, okay. Uh, you can preview your animations by press this button preview. Okay, and you can see you just play once. Okay, go back to loop and then go again to preview. And now you can see uh, my character is idling, but 
it's idling quite fast so you can reduce here at the fps let's say you go for two assuming that one drawings per one second okay let's say four or three two i think this is okay all right click okay then next we add another animations okay we call that animation is walk okay. walking okay animations number one is walking and walking sprites this one one two okay okay loop is it going to loop preview so four five it's quite fast six one okay let's say three i'm going to four okay we can adjust this later on All right but <laughs> the hand is not correct the drawings for the hand is not correct but i just yep i just leave it there okay okay and then let's add jumping jumping for jump i just have one one drawings for jump this one okay okay and then add another emissions for falling okay fall fall was fall yeah all right so now i have one objects called player and at the same time in each of these objects each of these player have four different animations okay by default is idle animation okay when you click and drag this character okay this character here and when you press play preview will be uh use the <coughs> idle animations as a default okay because we set the animation zero the first animations for animation zero is idle right so yep so if you think your cat is quite small you can make it big all right make that big then try to preview so this is how your character looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's add. Okay, let's say you are in preview. You can use your. Oh, I think nothing is going to happen because we not set any movement yet. All right. Uh, to do that, let's add player. Go to edit, edit object. Okay. click and add behavior okay behavior is things that we put behaviors to the objects okay this one going to add this behavior this character will behave as a platform platformer characters there are lots of behaviors okay but each of these behaviors uh, used for different different purposes okay so this one i'm going to add this as platformer character the acceleration is the speed the acceleration is also the speed okay just leave it for uh 1500 as a default just leave it a default first okay everything i i, I doesn't change anything now right just apply when you have do this, you have done that. When you go preview, what what you can see, oh, it's falling down. Why it's falling down? Because that behavior of platformer behaviors have the gravity. Okay, have put gravity to uh, to the character. Character is pulling down because of gravity. Okay. What you can do next, okay, you add a ground, a 
platform here okay so add new so to add platform you use this tile sprite okay okay add tile sprite give the object name as platform okay select image choose new image okay this one i'm going to use image from again okay, tile set png tiles this one okay this randomly i choose this one or this one, or this one 14 okay right default to okay let's change to 64 64 okay and then we we can resize Okay, now if you see this platform has made the characters stands behind the platform. Okay, to adjust this, you can go here to Z order, Z order. Okay, you bring this platform behind the character, the anchor. So by default, this Z order is two. You give to minus two. Negative two. All right. So now it's behind. It's behind the characters now. And then let's try to um, review. The character is still falling down. Why is this happening? This is because we doesn't set this platform as a platform. <laughs> to do that, it's easy. You just go here, click Edit Object. Go to behavior, add behavior to the object, and then you choose as platform. Okay, there are many types of platforms platform, jump through platform, ladder. So we just use platform. Okay, and then apply. So now we have add this platform, this platform as a platform, and this layer as. <clears throat> as platform object all right so let's check now the characters is on the platform you see it's no longer falling down okay when you have when you have set this behavior players to behavior platform object actually you can use your left and right key to move your character but this movement is not right okay it's supposed to have when you move front when you press right key it move and then change the animations to walking to walk animations okay to do that it's easy Okay, we have to go to this what we call as scene. Okay, we're going to add some programming. It's not programming, but it's like instruction. It's like a command to the character. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, go to new scene and then you press here, add new empty event click that so in event there are two uh, there are two what we call as one is conditions one is actions condition is what you want the character do and action is what the character will behave will, will behave something like that okay you just add conditions so for this time you want to make the character walk all right so to make the character walk mm -hmm. you go to 
okay we want to make the character walk by pressing right but right key we go forward left key we go backwards okay add conditions and you find keyboard okay it's under here it's keyboard is the keyboard yep keyboard if you want to use uh <coughs> mobile game and you want to use touch you can use here but as for now we are using we are going to develop game for pc for desktop so we use keyboard key button and then you go to key press okay key press so and then you find right key okay and then press okay so the command is when right key is press what will happen okay so add condition add conditions sorry add condition when key when right key is press add conditions so now we find moving okay we go for moving and you select this is moving is moving platform behavior is moving okay then you choose player okay and then you press okay so this means this can be read as when right key is pressed player is moving okay the player is my the, your character that you have set earlier so what will happen Play is moving and then you add the actions. Okay. When the player is moving, we want to we want the player animate animations walking. Okay. Walking animations. So you go for animations. Okay. And then you find this change animations by name. Alright. Click there. Choose player. And then you have to set what are the animations name that you have give you have give earlier that you have okay double quote make sure you write down this double quote and it's working All right it's working make sure you type as what you have typed before it's case sensitive and the best okay so now right key is press player is moving okay set the animation player to walking okay let's try okay so now it's there idling so let's press right key yeah so it's moving okay it's moving but the bevel is not right so again it's moving but the animation is doesn't stop there All right. so let's go back to new scenes the objects Let's turn off this loop. Okay, try again. Yeah. You see that? So now it's idling. Move. It will walk, but we stop there. Okay, because we have turned off the looping. So it's okay right now. Uh, then, but. <coughs> the left buttons is not like this it's supposed to flip the character and then look at the left so to do that it's easy it's easy you just copy this event all right you press here this blue bar here Ctrl C, or just okay, right click. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So you paste here, and then you change uh, right key to left key. Okay. Play is moving. Play is moving. Yep. And then this one you invert conditions. Which conditions mean sorry 
doesn't have to do this. Add the actions. Okay, Add the actions, set animations, player to walking. Okay, okay. So you add actions. Now you find flip. Okay, flip the object horizontal horizontally. Okay, it means that it will flip the animations of walking to the other side horizontally. Okay, so player activate flipping. Yes. Okay. So now let's say. Okay, now the problem is when we press right button, it doesn't go back. Okay, it doesn't go back. Okay, this one is we press right button, move forwards, but when we press left button, it's turn, but again, when we press right button, it's nothing happens. Okay, then we have to add. Also, this area we have to add actions flip horizontal the same, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but now we not activate the flipping. Okay, no. So this one yes, this one no. Okay. Front. Yep. All right. It's cool. It's working now, but. The animation is still not working properly. Okay, all right, never mind. We'll fix that. So why it's not working properly? Because uh, we doesn't add any conditions that saying that when. Uh, when uh, key release, we change the animations back to idle. Okay, so how to make the animations back to idle? <coughs> and then we have to add idle animations. Okay, so to do that, we have to create new event. Okay, oops, it's supposed to. At the bottom of this one, uh, no, no, this one. Too. Oh, sorry. Okay. At new empty event. Okay. <coughs> At conditions is moving. It's moving, and then you select. Player, okay, and then you press, you select invert condition. This means that when it's not moving, okay, we set the character is moving, but when you press this invert conditions, it reads as it's not moving, moving but it's not moving. That's what we call as invert conditions, right? Okay, so now it's read that player. It's moving but it's not when the player is not moving okay when the player is not moving so what are the actions we change the animations to idle okay set animations animation okay change the animations by name player animations name double quotes idle okay the same spelling as what you have written in the object Name, object name, okay, press, okay. So let's try again. So now it's idle. Press right button, right key will move forward and walking. And when we release, it's not, it's back to idle, okay. Left walking, release, it's idle, idle. Walking, release, and then left walking. But the animation of the walking is not 
it just stop there after two frame it stop there okay because this because we have disable the <coughs> looping okay so, yep you go back to the new scene here okay edit object and you turn on this loop animations okay then you press apply and then okay all right thanks yep okay let's walk okay yeah uh if you feel that the the movement is too fast or too slow you can adjust at the frame okay let's say we take it six frames okay apply and walk up mm -hmm. okay i'm going to go for so maybe four uh, maybe five okay apply mm -hmm. okay i think it's only so okay now let's add jumping action to the character okay so to add jumps go to new scenes add new empty event add conditions and then you find is jumping okay by default to make character jump we will we will use space bar to jump so we doesn't have to to give instruction when space bar is pressed by is jumping I think it's no need okay then set animations uh, jumping jumping okay <coughs> Set animation of play change animation change animations by name player code jumping okay and press okay and then let's preview may press space as jumping yep let's from here okay let's try to jump it's not that but it's jumping okay okay good okay okay all right all right now uh let's add falling animations okay when the characters is after jump and then we're going to go down and then we set as falling it's fall okay the conditions is falling all right Yes, set animations player to falling. Press OK. And then uh, test. OK, jumping. Oh, yeah, it's falling there. Jump and fall. Yep. All right. Yes. So now uh, we have finished the first part is on how to create basic movements for your character in G Develop 5. Okay, we continue the rest the next video. Till then, see you again. Bye bye.